Hi there guys and welcome back to this modes study and what we're going to be doing now is grouping the modes, okay? So what I mean by this is all going to make sense when we come back to this original kind of scale, okay? And the harmonization of this original scale because what happens is each mode is either a kind of major mode, a minor mode or a diminished mode, okay? And by grouping them into their own categories we start to really understand how to use each mode, okay? So, let me just talk it through. Today we're gonna to talk about major modes, okay? So I'm just gonna write as a title here, major modes, okay? Now, what I mean by that is the three modes that are major, based on major chords. So, the root, the fourth degree, and the fifth degree, or the Ionian, the Lydian, and the mixolydian, these three are very much based on major sounds, okay? So there's no better way than to, to kind of work this out than to look at the scale formulas, okay? So I'm gonna start with Ionian. Okay, so let's just write out Ionian here, okay? And then we're gonna look at the Lydian underneath, and then the mixolydian underneath that. Okay, so let's go through this. Now, the Ionian, the scale formula is the simplest one out there, isn't it? It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, it's the major scale. Okay, the Lydian, one, two, three, sharp four, five, six, and seven. And then the Mixolydian is one, two, three, four, five, six, oh, write six properly, and then flat seven, okay? So, let's just work with that for a minute here, okay? Now, what's the first thing that we notice? It's that they're all very similar, okay? The major scale modes are all really, really similar, and it's the target notes that we're looking for. So, when you're actually sitting there on the guitar and you're like, you know, I, I, you're, you need to, or you want to switch between major and Lydian, which is a very common thing to want to do, um, you've just got to realize that this note, the sharp four, is the note, okay? That is your target note if you wanna really bring out the Lydian in me, <laughs> for example. So here's a, a scenario for you, you're playing a C major seven, okay? and you know you, you've been just using that ionian because it fits perfectly but you're, you're hanging around on a c major seven for a long time and you're thinking i'm going to deliberately try and now use a different mode over this c major seven chord okay and i i, I want to do that because i know it's going to fit because it's still a major type mode okay and it will immediately give me a slightly different edge before my chord changes and then I'll go off and do something else, okay? So you're kind of deliberately breaking out of this pattern of just playing in the overall key. You're deliberately using a mode, okay? So if you just kind of stumbled around in this whole mode, you've got a six in seven chance that you will just hit a note that's just in your major scale, so it won't sound any different. But if you are smart and you know that the sharp four is the only note that makes the difference between the two, then that's the note you're gonna jump straight to, okay? You're gonna learn it so that when you look at that Lydian scale, you're gonna go, I know how to immediately jump straight to that. And therefore, you know, you're still playing that C major seven, you hit that sharp four, and wow, suddenly we've got a whole new sound. We've got a Lydian sound instead of a Ionian sound, okay? That is the power of relating the kind of mode to the kind of original bass key or whatever that you're gonna be in, okay? Um, so relating the Lydian to the Ionian. And in the same respect, relating the Mixolydian to the Ionian, okay? The difference, the only difference is this flat seven, okay? That is the only note that differs from the Ionian scale, okay? Now, it's a little different with the Mixolydian because the flat seven specifically works over a dominant chord, which you'd find on the five, okay? So, here's a scenario for you, <laughs> okay? You're playing over a dominant seventh chord, 
Okay, you're playing, an, for example, an A dominant seventh chord. Now, you could just play your A major scale pretty much and get away with it, um, or your A major pentatonic or something, but you really want to start working with a scale that targets that note, okay? So, your mixolydian, you know you can just play your major scale, but when you get to the seventh, if you flatten that, you've got a scale that sits so perfectly over that dominant seventh chord that you'd be silly not to use it, basically. So, again, you've kind of just really, you've pretty much learned one scale, but you've just specifically worked out which note you alter in which direction, so sharp or flat, to create a Lydian or a mixed Lydian, okay? And when you want to use them. So over major seventh chords, these two are great. Over a dominant chord, this mixed Lydian is great, okay? And if it's just a major chord, in theory, you can use all three of these as well, okay? So that's the point of having major modes grouped together, okay? And hopefully that's really opened a quick little doorway for you to, to start trying to put this into your own playing.